Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Lex. And scones. Lexi, Lexi scones. <laughs> and I know we've been inactive for a minute here, but we're back and a lot has changed. We thought we would catch you all up. So last we posted, we were living in a big house with our band in Colorado. Well, the band split up. Me and Boba got our own apartment in Colorado. We explored all Western America, living in our car, selling art and music on the road. Boba dropped an album. I did drop an album. Lexi dropped an EP. <laughs> and we moved to Virginia on an island. Yep, we're living on three acres of land. Um, we're renovating a house from 1940. And we're gonna grow our own weed, grow our own shrooms and our own veggies and shit. Yep, we're gonna do tons of renovations. This house is old, like I'm telling you, it's falling apart. And yeah, we got big plans. But this is how it all went down from then till now. So basically, we were living in the big house with our band and me and Lex, we were craving adventure. We needed it, like we were just, we just felt like we were stuck in a box and no one else wanted to adventure with us. So we just sent it. We, we are carless. We had no car. We finally bought a whip and we just drove out for a hike one day and never stopped. We did not pack clothes. We did not pack blankets. We didn't pack nothing. We stopped at thrift stores on the way and we got a wardrobe. We got blankets and pillows and it was the time of our life. I'm telling you, we explored so much. definitely recommended and then like we got back from the road trip and one of our band members moved back home he dipped out on us so we were dealing with random roommates from craigslist off the internet and let me tell you it was insane it was insane we um well basically that road trip it was just around colorado initially um we just like went to all these different towns and went straight through the mountains um, but with the roommates, we had crackheads coming in. We had someone, some lady who acted like she was possessed. Um, just basically these random people just so we could get our rent and we could get the house paid so that we had somewhere to live, somewhere to keep our kitties safe. It was a mess. It was. It was a lot. And it was, it was an experience for sure. But after that, the band kind of just fell apart. Like one of the members already left and me and Lex decided to get our own place. Yeah, so we moved out to an apartment. We got accepted. We had to beg a reality company, but we managed to get accepted even though um, we don't have really much of a job history. We actually did decide to get jobs at King Super just for like a couple months to, for papers so then they would, hire, they would like let us in. Mm -hmm. But other than that, we're just hustling, making money off of our art making money in any way we can just to get by and just make our dreams come true because we don't like working in the system we don't like wasting our time away and you know we're, we're doing what we can way. like we're, we're trying to create the best reality we want straight up you know? and then from like we got the new place in colorado because we needed a home base for the kitties but our dream was to go explore the western america and that's just what we did we started in Colorado Springs and then we headed, we start, decided to like go towards Arizona first. So we stopped in Pagosa Springs for the first night. We started drinking with some homeless guy. He was giving us weed, we were rolling up. We found a cool camp spot and- Yeah, and Pagosa Springs is just a little like hippie town that's filled with hot springs. Everywhere. So we were just sitting in the hot spring, just talking to this, this homeless man, talking about how he, how, what his experiences are and he gave us some beers he had some crazy weed. stories for sure yeah cool guy you couldn't tell if he was telling the truth or not but mm -mm. he was cool he was cool um and then after that we woke up some random cool spot in the mountains and then the people that we were hanging out with at the hot spring were randomly at that campsite that we were at we said bye to them and we headed on our adventure we went through new mexico and we went into arizona and we stopped in flagstaff 
and that place was pretty cool. But then Sedona. It's an artist dream, dream world. Like there's so many art communities, so much like spiritual, like mother earth vibes. I just, I felt so much respect for that land. It was, and it was. This, this huge rock structures. I'm like a hundred percent convinced <laughs> that they are stumps of old giant trees. And it's that's love, that's love, repeat, repeat. What you speak reflects who you be. Nothing you ever say will ever break me. Why they even try? They were... Our car broke down. And like I'm saying, like we don't got a lot of money. Like we went on a whim. We were broke and our car broke down. We did not have the money to fix it. But luckily some miracle came along and someone helped us get it fixed. Man, it was insane. Like we we're so thankful for that and it was crazy that we, led us to the rest of our adventure it was so fun and god it was like 110 degrees out there like it was midsummer <laughs> out Arizona. Miles with our in the desert we uh, our alternator broke down and um so originally we just carried the battery a good couple miles we just walked it um uh, like to like a mechanic shop I don't know, but we got it. We got it fixed. We got a new battery, and then realized that our alternator was broken. Mm -hmm. So we found like a local mechanic because all the mechanics were booked up for like the next week. Yeah, they said and we were just sleeping in our for car. A week. Yeah, so we we called up like a local mechanic who could come and do the work on the go, and mm -hmm. we luckily met a really nice blessing of a person who freaking put it in for like fifty five dollars and. Also, just like threw in some other stuff he noticed was up with the car. Yeah, and he like, just fixed it up for us, helped us out. It was insane. So we got on the road and we went to Buda Beach, which was near Sedona. I love that place. We spent a few days there sleeping in our tent. We carried Good our truth. bags down full mile, or not full mile, a few miles. And then um, set up camp right down by the river and met some cool people. Smoked a joint with a British guy. Um, yeah, made a bunch of cool. shrooms. We saw scorpions, we think, but we're not sure. We were, we were off the shrooms, Yeah, right? <laughs> it might have just been a cricket. <laughs> we were off the shrooms and we were barefoot and we were just, we were losing our minds. But it was probably the most beautiful time I've ever lost in my mind. It was amazing. It's so humbling being out there in nature and like it's it's scary, but it's also like it's nice just like i don't know you really connect with the earth and like me and boba felt like we could hear like just the native spirits dancing and Singing. we could hear like drum rhythms and we could just hear oh, the music of the world it was so magical just to really be in that area we were apparently right on a vortex point mm -hmm. sit right there at Buda beach in front of cathedral rock and god it was so magical nothing Definitely like it really recommended like you gotta go Buda beach Mm -hmm. And from there, oh, actually, a couple of locals told me that it was a secret spot. Like, it was a secret local spot or whatever, so you didn't hear it from us. Anyways, <laughs> from there, where did we go after that? It was uh, down to Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> we hated Phoenix. I mean, it's, it's a nice town, probably. I'm not trying to come for your town or whatever, but, like, it was hot. We were sleeping in the car. We, we got in there for one day got a room and then dipped out uh-huh and like i hadn't stepped into the sun at all like this was like our first time really getting outside and stuff so like we were we were not exposed to sun at all and like i got really bad sun poisoning right off the bat because we were hiking right in the um, straight out desert mm -hmm. so i had sun poisoning and then getting to phoenix i was just overwhelmed with blizzards and sunburn mm. wait you know what i did miss before phoenix and after the buddha beach the crack the crack and oh wet beaver my creek God. yeah we stepped on we stopped at like a few different places just along because like um sedona to phoenix there's like a lot of just like country desert waterfalls and stuff so to explore bro go to the crack it's a long hike it's a very long hike but once you get there 
it's like you've been walking in the desert for days and you haven't seen water and then it's just like the most beautiful crystal clear like blue tinted water and you're jumping off these smooth orange rocks camp out mm -hmm. we're definitely going back there we microdosed the hike so like it was like cool we were hearing all the bugs going i think it was called like the bullpen or something oh that was the bullpen we didn't get any videos but there was like a good like 30 foot cliff jump that we were doing and there's some rope swings we're flipping off of just bright crystal blue waters mm -hmm. And me and Boa like to be naked, so we were just running around. Like, naked as feral, fuck, Feral, primal monsters. <laughs> just fucking balls out, titties out, bro. Just like jumping off cliffs and, and rope swinging. Like, swimming around. Yes, and there's crawl daddies everywhere. So we were like watching our feet out, scared we are going to get pinched by crawl daddies. <laughs> and there's these huge fish, bro. And they're so friendly. Like, literally, we could just walk up to a fish and almost pet it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Magical for real. Okay, this is awesome. After Wet Beaver Creek and the bullpen, then was Phoenix. And you know, you already heard about Phoenix. After Phoenix, we dipped out and we just straight shot it to San Diego, bro. And then we were living the Cali life. <laughs> it was beautiful. We were smoking California weed. We were at the beach. We were naked as fuck on the nude beaches. We were meeting cool people. Yeah. Yeah. Here we come, Cali, baby. Smoking my weed, just human being, talking to the tree, living in a dream. I just seen the breeze, find my peace, listen to the beat. Smoking my weed, just a human being, talking to the tree, living in a dream. You know we all this chaos. We were meeting cool people. We were, it was so fun, yo. Like, that is an experience that everybody needs to experience. We drove all the way up the California coast, stopping at different beaches. Went to LA. Went to LA. We slept in our car in LA, bro. In Beverly Hills. And our car is like old and rusty, and we had like underwear tied on the top drying. <laughs> like, we had police pulling us over saying we couldn't sleep and stuff. But yeah. We were just sleeping anywhere. Like Doing California is really strict on homelessness and sleeping in your car. So we, we were just finding places to camp out and sleep. And we were sleeping just along the coast in random places. Random like, little parking spots. Yeah, with the coast, it's like huge cliffs that you just have to find a way down to the beach. So we were just like parkouring down onto the beach. I remember there was one point we were stopped. We were having trouble with police, but we managed to do it um but i went on the beach and there's lobsters everywhere like i don't even know lobsters lived in the ocean i don't fucking know <laughs> they definitely live in the ocean but we did not think they were like in that part of the ocean and it was pretty cool like it was definitely an experience we drove all the way up the coast and then we eventually cut over to lake tahoe and reno reno however you say um and let me tell you, we found the coolest spot ever. What was it called again? Um, Paradise. Or no, it was like. Uh, what was it called? It was like a, it was a nude beach. Mm -hmm. And it was on Lake Tahoe. 
Well, it was a new Secret beach. Secret Cove or something? Secret Cove, that's what it was called. There's so much that like we can't even just put into words or like you know we were just going along the way like whatever we saw we would pull Stop, over yeah. and camp out at or like I remember we went all around like Mammoth Lakes and um, we went to like a couple different hot springs in California. We sat in the hot springs and looked at the mountains and just went around and saw all the blue alpine lakes and mm. just hoping that our car wouldn't break down. <laughs> and it didn't. Like, after that one time in Sedona, she did this amazing, bro. She was a trooper for show. And it was like, honestly, the time of our lives. And we cannot wait to get back out there, bro. Like, we're yeah, gonna... next trip, it's even bigger. First, mm. we did call. Colorado. Well, first when we lived on the East Coast, we would travel all around Tennessee and all around Alabama. the East Coast, Alabama, Georgia. I haven't been up to New York or anything like that, but then we came over to Colorado, we explored Colorado, and then the Western, Southern-ish part of America. And next, we're going to do Central America. And from, Northern. And like Northern, but also we want to hit some other spots in California again. Cause Definitely. We Definitely. didn't have a lot of time to travel because we had our kitties back at home. Yeah, that's the next goal is to like completely live in an RV on the road and just travel, live with our kitties on the road, just RV it up, you know, get a generator and just do our thing, bro. Flow wherever the universe takes us. That's the goal. We want to live that nomadic life. We want to explore and... That was the adventure. That was our Western experience. Mm -hmm. So from California, we send it back to Colorado through Nevada, through Utah. We just shot it straight through because mm -hmm. we were kind of in a rush. Um, in the matter of a week, we packed up a moving truck and moved all the way to the East Coast to Virginia. Like so in the matter of a month, we literally went all the way from California to the east coast from the west coast to the east coast all colorado the way across. to the west all the way back to the east coast and we were on the loneliest road um heading back to colorado like there it was just a straight shot road like right through it's called the loneliest road highway 55 i think yeah and we were just going through we had our old cds we were jamming <laughs> and um, just taking naps and just excited for the next move and yeah. excited for the move to virginia because we have a huge opportunity here. We have three acres of land. Um, we have this house that was built in 1940 and we're doing renovations on it. Stay tuned for that concept for sure. Mm -hmm. We've gonna... already repaired the kitchen sink. Mm -hmm.
And now we're just gonna chill, grow some herb, and do our thing. We're gonna be making tons of content. Yeah, I got my gaming channel, Scon's World. Lexi's gonna got some crazy art pieces coming out. We got music videos coming out, crazy music coming out. We got so much in store and planned. And it's just a matter of putting the effort in and creating. And, and yeah. finding people who wanna hear us. <laughs> yep, and being consistent, bro. Being goofy. Yes. Goofy. And yeah, that was basically it for today. You know, we just kind of wanted to update like from the last time we posted until now, past the present, uh, let you guys know what's been going on and what we have in store for the future. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was Shkans. Lex. Lexi Shkans. And peace out. Peace out, everybody. Thanks for listening. Peace.